Hello there, kids. That is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Already, when we left off, we were trying to figure out what the hell is going on between this feud of the uh, two main families on Dantooine, and uh, we've discovered a little bit. Uh, we have discovered that a the one that's currently being uh, abducted. <laughs> rather uh kidnapped uh is actually by the other family uh he's doing it in response to the fact his son disappeared and assuming that the other family did it but no the son we just found out here he died trying to do archaeological digs because that was his passion so uh, we now know at least about that. It's not their fault. It's not anyone's fault. Uh, at least on the son that died. But it is the other guy's fault that he's holding the first guy's son hostage. So we're going to have to try and talk him out of that after we rescue the son. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of a big old thing where we have to talk to them real quick. But uh, for now... I'm going to uh, fight my way back over to where I'm supposed to go. Which is, I think... I don't even need to go this way. I can just go back the way I can. But... You know. Well, that was quick. Alright. <laughs> Running into missions. That's a, that's a thing I can do. Sure. It's totally not creepy in any way. Alright. Yeah, now that I think about it, I could go exactly back the way I came. Oh, but there's some here anyway. Okay, well. All right. Oh, jeez. Nice. All right. That worked out. Better than I hoped. Do a little heal. Just top everyone off. <sighs> really? Okay. I hit the wrong button. My thumb still is attached and still causing problems, apparently. Um, closing to attack range. And there we go. It's nice to see that more of them are, uh, more of my companions are cooperative and actually helping me, me now, which is very nice. Um, just need to keep going forward. Use that. Didn't I already empty this backpack? I did. Okay. It's just still sitting there. Weird, but okay. Okay. Now let's continue on to the estate where we shall rescue Shen from the sandals. Yes, I only just remembered the, all the names now. <laughs> Shush. Okay. Memory is hard, alright? Remembering things is difficult. Alright, well. Well, that last one helped. Oh, never mind. Didn't even need to get into attack range. That worked out beautifully. Alright, so we have a key to get into the back rooms of the estate. So, we shall go in and rescue Shen. Oh boy, we're already in the middle of combat. Joy. Yep, they're going to know we're here. Whoa. Whoa. Blew for him like it was nothing. Uh, we're going to have you recover that minor flash mine there, Mission. Thank you. Sure. That is why you are the best. Ooh. I could just bash it open. <laughs> and ta da. Okay. 
advanced med pack. I probably should be opening these things like normal, but... Ooh, basic targeting computer. Oh, hi there! I'm gonna go to you next. Alright, I had a feeling Mission was gonna take care of that one, and I was not wrong. Uh, stun droid. Beautiful. Anything loot-wise? Nope, just the footlocker. Parts, okay. I do not want to bash that computer panel. I'm going to see if Mission has a better better computer skill before I use that. Um, no, she does not. I have the better computer skill. Okay. You're going to slice into that. North hallway. I was just through that. Corrupt patrol droid targeting program. Whoa. That'd be messed up. Okay. South hallway. Nah. Not gonna do that. Security computer room. Oh, that's where I am. I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me straight dead. Ooh. Doing this would actually kill most of them. Beautiful. Alright. And the repair room. Oh. Let's do another overload. There we go. I don't need the area schematics. Storage room. One more should do it, and that should clear out most of this area. Good. And I'm done. <laughs> that was a noise. Hey, mission got a level up. Woo! Totally legit. <laughs> totally legit level up. Alright. Uh, let's... Oh, that's a cross-class skill for her. No wonder it's so low. Okay. Um, so... That was not intentional. Shut up. All right, let's go with that and that and uh, that's a class skill, but we don't need stealth if we're going to be blowing through these motherfuckers like it's nothing. Um. I I guess we can just hold on to the points for next level up, I guess. Or we could just put them in the computer use. I mean, we're getting more points than we know what to do with with mission here. So, guess that works. That's fair. All right. It really bugs me that Mission ends up having more defense than I do. Ah. Uh, oh, that's so annoying. Okay, security room. Oh, hi there. I missed you. Now I didn't. Now you're dead -ed -ed. Okay. Boom. Mine now. Uh, security control room. That is not empty, because I blew it the fuck up. Light scan visor. Huh. Response package. Let's look at that light scan visor. Huh. Adds awareness plus four. These are invaluable tools that increase the visual acuity by <laughs> analyzing light on several frequencies above those of normal sight. But say analyzing, that's not right. Um, it looks somewhat dumb, though. Uh, at least I still have the will saves from this. Uh, maybe she can wear it. 
Oh my god, it does look dumb. <laughs> it does look a little dumb. Sure. Okay, well. At least it gives her awareness. Ooh, a, lot, a large locker. I was about to say a lodge locker. That's not right. Huh. Brain is broken today, apparently. Uh, let's cure to get a little extra level up. Get the foot locker. There we go. Got a computer spike. Get the repair kits. Cool. Oh! Hi there, Rahasia. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. I kind of destroyed most of them. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Thank you, Princess Leia. We've heard that before. Okay. Just had to take that. Bye. Oh, whole different security room. Cool. And the prison key, which will allow me to get into the room. Oh, this is... Oh, that's my... That's a trash truck. Oh, medium plating. Nice. I was wondering what the hell that sound was. It was the trash truck. I already, I'm, I already opened that. I busted through that thing. Alright. Just to double check that I didn't miss anything. Oh, there was this. I can't go into this, I guess? Oh... Uh... Oh. Why would you put a mine in your home like that? That's messed up. I'm assuming, though, that that is the room with Shen. Sure. I'm assuming. I can only assume. But I'm probably right, let's be honest here. Is that room... Where was Rahasia's room again? I'm trying to make sure I... <laughs> Make sure I checked all the rooms. And got all of the things. That room, that room, and this room. I already got this. Yeah. I'm getting lost in here. It is fairly easy to get lost in here. Alright, he's probably right here. Hey, Shen! Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? A bit. <laughs> I want to tell you you ask too many questions. Now sit down and shut up. <laughs> I'm here to rescue you, Shano. Oh, my, my chair is here to talk. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. What? I go through all of this effort and now you're not going to fucking leave? I can protect you, Shen. Let's go. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. Uh -huh. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I You're leave right. you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. Damn. <laughs> you said chivalry is dead. Apparently not in this galaxy far, far away. Fuck. Alright, um... Uh, what if we take Rahasia with us? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could yeah. imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. You two are the most annoying, God's damned, Romeo and Juliet-esque Fucking... Sorry. All right, all right, fine. Why do you care so much about Rahasia? I was taught to hate the Sandrals. To think of them as evil and subhuman. Uh-huh. From the moment I saw Rahasia one day in the city, I knew that my father was wrong. She was like an angel. All white silks and perfume. Uh. Above the crowds. I don't know what else I could have done but fall in love with her. For months I wooed her and tried to win her heart. Uh. I succeeded, but now this has happened. Our families are always coming between us one way or another. Please find her and convince her to run away with me. All right. All right, you fucking annoying Romeo and Juliet analogs. I'll help. 
If only to shut you the fuck up. Hey, Rasia. Have you found Shen yet? I found him, but he won't leave without you. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. I've destroyed all. Oh, Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Absolutely. Alrighty. And it's done. Now I go back to Shen. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Absolutely. She promised she would meet us outside. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear. Yeah, well. I have to take that chance. Hurry then. We must not keep Rahasia waiting. You're right. You shouldn't. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you thanks managed Thanks for being in the shot mission. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. You're welcome. Uh, it was no problem. We should get out of here quickly. You're right. We should go as fast as we can. I don't know how long it will be before my father realizes we're gone. You're right. We should. Nope. That was badly framed as a line. That was very badly framed. Should have immediately cut to Shen's father. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandril! Nurik! Alan! Donkey! I knew this was all your doing. I knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. Oh, for fuck's sake. You two just need to calm the fuck down. Please listen to him, Father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. Wow! My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! Both of you calm down now. We are trying to be real. No, you're not! Here, of course. How we dare you lie to me! Sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. Are you even listening to them? Just understand that he has to do what I want. This would all be solved easily. Do you hear yourself? Do you hear yourself right now? Has to do what you want. He is his own fucking person. But he is my son. I don't want to lose him. I don't and care. I won't let my daughter go with him. You fuck off. Children grow up and leave eventually. My little Rahasia. Father. I... I don't know why we fight like this. We got along in the beginning, didn't we, Alan? I don't know how you can think of that when we have our children trying to go away together. Well, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? Shen seems to genuinely care for my Rahasia. He might be a good husband for her someday. Hmm. As much as I may dislike it, I think I see it too. Yay! I knew you two could see reason. I suppose, I suppose I might be convinced to see that Sandral girl with my son, if she is loyal to him. But I don't trust you a centimeter farther, old man. Your daughter may treat Shen well, but you will never see them. They will live with me. Would you stop? Of course not, you pompous old windbag. They'll be living with me. Okay. Could you stop it? Could you both stop it? Why don't you compromise for once? I will not have them set foot in a Sandral household. They shall not live with the Matales. Then you propose to buy us a new house, do you? Oh, uh, well, yes, actually. That sounds like a good idea. I'm surprised. That does sound like a good idea. We there we go. Thank you, Master Jedi, for bringing us together and getting our parents to accept us. We will yes! To the for Finally! And name our children after you. Thank you again. We will remember Okay! You That's a little weird, but okay. Alright, I'll take that. I'll t Being told you're gonna have children named after you, it's a weird feeling. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's a very weird feeling. But, then again, this is a game, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so let's uh, put our points where they belong. Uh, 
Okay, I can do that. And since I'm the only one with computer use, I might as well push it into computer use. Uh, or I could put one into persuade. Actually, the treat injury I don't really need as much. Uh, I'll put a couple more points into persuade and we'll just kind of boost up uh, computer use and persuade a little bit for this one. Then I'll boost treat injury up to max and then I'll work on the other two again. That sounds good to me. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. Feats. Oh. Immunity and night sense. for uh, Immunity for stun. Okay. Just kind of want to look at that. Unshakable connection to the force and through it to the galaxy as well. No amount of damage or distraction will cause fear or a loss of alertness. This feat is always active. And uh, Night Sense is an additional four defense and is always active. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Um, hmm. I could go for Weapon Focus, but I don't think I need to. Huh. I think, if anything, I should go with Master Flurry so I only suffer a negative one to de defense and a negative one to attack. I think that's a good place to put it, honestly. I think that's the best place to put it. Powers. I don't know. Um. Huh. I could... Hmm. Some of these are restricted by armor, though. Energy resistance is not. I can do that. I did only bring my defense to 43. Come on. Come on. All right. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. All right, well. I at least have energy resistance as an ability now. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. Okay, so that is completed. Is there anything else I needed to do? Uh, investigate the ruins. Missing companion. Huh? Well, I'll go back north to the uh, courtyard. Maybe I'll run into her again while I do that. Man, that is a big fucking bird. It's not even a boyd. Some sort of flying manta ray. Still, it's a big one. Look at, look at that. Look at that thing. It's massive. Fuck. Imagine that thing swooping down to eat you. Actually, don't do that. Damn it, Thumb. Let you live. How dare. Okay. Uh, I was curious if there was another crystal cave nearby, but the answer is no. Okay. Back to the courtyard. Go back over here. Ugh. And I'll see what you're selling. Okay. So, um. Nothing really good here. Yeah, nothing particularly good. I guess I can sell you some of the stuff I don't need. Huh. Heavy combat suit is not as good as the uh, Chani light armor. I guess I can sell that. Light battle armor, I guess I'll keep that. I 
kind of don't want to sell lightsaber crystals, but they are the crystals I don't like. Mm, guess I'll sell a couple. Eh, I guess I could sell two of these. Not like I need all of them. Sonic. Not good enough. Um... Definitely not going to sell a lightsaber. What are, what are you kidding me? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, Davix visor, not necessary. Neural band, I guess I can sell that. I'm surprised the oral amplifier isn't worth more. Eh, sell that. Sonic nullifiers, not worth it. Chani shield, ooh. That is very valuable. And full uses, too. Good to know. I'll sell one of these. Not like I'm going to run into enough people who can use them. Uh, I can sell some of these. Not like I'm going to use mines regularly anyway. There we go. And sell that. Uh, that does weapon focus. I don't need that. That is stronger. But then again, they do have limited uses. Yeah, it's good. I like that. I'm okay with that. Wonder, will we run into her again at some point? I legitimately wonder. Huh. I don't know. Anyway, I should be focused on uh, doing that uh, ruin exploration. Also, I like how fucking. <laughs> uh, I like how Basila just pops into uh, existence right behind me there for a second. All right, and the ruins should be over here. Oh. Yeah, they would be over here. So I'm going to have to fight through them eventually anyway. There we go. Oh, come on. Nice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does that come with its own stun that master flurry okay yeah 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 it doesn't but he was stunned from that did Bastila stun him or did my attack do that I don't know weird Oh, well. There we go. Oh, it makes me feel bad hearing those. Oh, okay. That one makes me a little concerned. Okay, can I actually go into this thing now? It wouldn't let me before. Does it let me now? It does. Okay. Okay. Big, ominous, black room, dimly lit, lots of alien symbols all over. Oh yeah, I feel right at home here. So soothing. Uh, okay, so. I guess we'll just move forward. Find out what's going on here. Oh, big old robot. 
Nemo. Destroy to speaking a language you do not recognize. That's the reason why I'm not talking. Um, I don't understand you. That sounds like sand people. Bastel, do you have any idea what this droid is saying? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I can reproduce any of the languages spoken by the slaves of the builders. That I understood. I recognize this language. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Communication was vital to ensure that the slaves constructed this temple according to the wishes of the builders. But you are not of the slave species. Neither of you are the builders. You are like the one who came before. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Oh. So this is like the guardian droid, I guess? Some type of guardian? I am the overseer. The builders programmed me to enforce discipline among the slaves while this monument to the power of the Star Forge was constructed. As project completion, all slaves were executed. I was reprogrammed to serve should a builder return in search of knowledge of the Star Forge. Can we back up a second and talk about how you apparently executed them after they were done? Whoa, that's fucked up, man. Holy shit, do they really not care that much? Whoa. Whoa. Whew. How long have you been here? My, chronicle, my chronological circuits have marked over ten full revolutions of this system's outermost planet around the sun since the builders left. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. The builders constructed my chronological circuitry using the technology of the Star Forge itself. My calculations are infallible. So, you're older than the Republic, and you've been here with power for all that time. Wow. Impressive. What is the Star Forge? The Star Forge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. Could you be a little more specific? The, the Star Forge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. Yep. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Though in fact, it could be anything. True. Could it have been a factory or weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid yeah. has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Uh-huh. Okay. Who are the builders you keep talking about? The builders are the great masters of the galaxy, the conquerors of all worlds, the rulers of the infinite empire, and the creators of the Star Forge. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the hmm. Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. No, Selkath doesn't make sense. 
Something must have happened to wipe the Builders out. The Empire of the Builders is infinite and everlasting. None can stand against their might and the power of the Star Forge. Have you seen one recently? I have been here ever since the completion of this monument. In all this time, no Builder has returned to seek information on the Star Forge. So, you have not seen one since it was initially built... And that's 20,000 years. But you still think that they couldn't have been wiped out by something. Right. Where can we find it? Now that the slaves are gone, my purpose is to aid those who seek knowledge of the Starforge, if they are worthy. The ones who came before you, the ones like you, not builders but not slaves, sought knowledge of the Starforge and its origins. They proved themselves worthy. They discovered the secrets of the Starforge locked behind the steel door behind me. But there was another who failed to unlock the secrets and paid the ultimate price. That'd be Nemo. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. Uh -huh. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Apparently. Did you kill the Jedi over there? I am not programmed for combat. I did not harm the one who failed. This temple's own protections will destroy those who seek knowledge of the Star Forge if they are deemed unworthy. How can I prove myself worthy? Enter the Proving Grounds to the east and west. Within them, those who understand the will of the Builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. But those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. Mm -hmm. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. That they are. Okay. So. Jedi Knight Robe and a Sigil Crystal. Didn't I have one of those before? Let's double check. Uh, where is... Oh, that has a higher defense and... This blue. Wish it was green, but okay. I guess I'll take that. Sigil. Oh, that ups the damage and attack. Mined in the Sigil system, this crystal is a costly but valued addition to a lightsaber. It produces a fiercely bright beam that sears on contact, inflicting great damage. Hmm. Sorry, Nemo. In death you shall continue on with your uh, night robe on me. <laughs> and uh, your Sigil crystal in one of my lightsabers. All right, so apparently we have to go into one of these rooms, complete the trial, and then we can be considered worthy. Okay, I guess we're going to do that then. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And finding out more things about what the fuck Revan and Malik were doing in this ruins. Well, all after, mind you, uh, helping a very annoying Romeo and Juliet analog uh, find love and compromise between the two families, which would have made far more sense in the original, but here it just seems kind of contrived for you.